what's up? Welcome back to another video here. My name is Sarah Michaels. I am your marketing mentor, helping you attract your perfect prospect, automate your business and live your dream life. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Wix. If you are creating like your um, your business hub on the Wix platform, I want to show you how to take a peek at your site analytics why they're important, what they mean, and where to find them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in to Wix and pull up your site dashboard. Now remember, there's the editor on your website, which looks like this. And if you go down to site and then my dashboard, it's going to pull up your site dashboard. The dashboard is kind of where all of the stuff on the on like the back end of the website is. So what we're going to do here, and we're actually going to be taking a peek at a website that I just reconnected to a new domain and is officially launching last night. So we're going to take a peek. There's not going to be much to see here as far as analytics, but it'll give you an overview of how to view your own. Okay. So I am going to give you a disclaimer though. Okay. I'm going to give you a disclaimer. A lot of people, in my opinion, get so hung up on the numbers and analyzing and the traffic and the analytics and this and that. And there are a lot of people out there who teach that and they are like, in a very masculine way of building business, they're like hyper focused on the numbers. And I'm going to be honest with you, that is not, that's not me. <laughs> I'm not about that life. Okay. I do not live or die by what the analytics report's saying. I don't have a heart attack if, you know, Google isn't, you know, oh, I didn't get as many views from Google or, oh my gosh, or, you know, some people go into the analytics and they get themselves all frenzied up because they think it's not working and then they go mess with everything and they're spending so much time messing with this stuff that they're not actually out there building your business. So what I want you to do Kind of like, you know, how if you're in a weight loss journey or something and like stepping on the scale is toxic to you, if that's how you feel when you're about to check your traffic analytics, like maybe just don't check it for like six months or something, because this can be a nice tool and it can be nice to say, oh, look, it's a window into what's going on. But a lot of this, especially if you're building an SEO strategy, it takes time. Okay. It takes time to get ranked on Google. And one of the biggest mistakes would be going into here thinking, Oh, I don't, Google's not ranking me yet. I got to go change all my keywords. Cause every time that happens, what happens with the SEO strategy is the longer it sets, the better it gets. And it actually takes time to develop and get crawled by Google. So it would be like if you're trying to make this little flower grow, but you keep uprooting it and uprooting it and, and digging it up and, re and digging it up. That's what's happening here. So with your SEO, as long as you followed my steps to set up a good SEO plan for your website, then set it and forget it and don't worry about it and don't analyze that until like after six to 12 months, okay? That is my disclaimer now. Okay, so now let's actually hop into the analytics reports and traffic overview. So the first thing, and there's really only gonna be like two reports that I'm really going to look at, maybe three if you're selling stuff directly from your site. That would be the traffic overview that you see here on the top, the sales overview, again, if you're selling things, or the behavior overview. Now, the behavior overview tab is going to tell you what people are doing when they're on your site, and we'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> but the traffic overview here it is. So let's go ahead. And if I were to wanting to take a bigger peek into a bigger window, I could say, all right, I want to take a look at the last 30 days, 90 days, 365 days. Um, or you could even say the previous year. So whatever you want to do, if we say the last, let's say the last 365 days, Again, now this is pretty interesting because this website was never like officially launched, <laughs> um, but somehow I still had 152 site sessions, 106 unique visitors, and an average site duration of five minutes and 56 seconds, which is actually pretty good. Like I'm pretty impressed by that. And so this is what it's telling you right here. This right here, the sessions over time, is telling you when 
did they view it and how many people on what day? So you will be able to see like if you're doing marketing campaigns or you're doing social media marketing, you'll be able to see these like spike or go up um, or you might see random spikes and be like, oh, that's weird. And then realize it came from Pinterest or a YouTube video or something like that. So the other thing right here is you'll see on the right hand side is it's saying sessions and by traffic source. So the traffic source is it's telling me, is it coming from Facebook, a direct link, Instagram, Google, Bing. There's a lot more, but these are like the main ones. Now, interestingly, it's saying that 54% of my site visitors are coming from Facebook, which means Facebook and those Facebook posts that I'm doing in my social attraction system are obviously working because the, that's where people are finding my stuff. Uh, there's a direct link, meaning these people came to my site directly, not from a link on another site, social media or search engine. They came, like I gave someone my link, whether that's in a message, an email, they clicked it and they came directly here. Then it's telling me, okay, how many people came over from Instagram? How many came from Google and then Bing, which is the other, another search engine. So this right here tells me that if I can be found on Google a little bit, I can be found on Google even more. I just need to keep going. Now, what it's going to tell you down here is it's going to say, oh, hold on, scroll back up for a second. When you click on these sessions drop down, you can switch from sessions to visitors. And then visitors, this is where it's going to tell you um, because you might have 152 site sessions, but 106 visitors, which means that there are people who are returning to the site more than once, which is pretty interesting. So if I wanted to change that view, I could check that as well and see if there was a difference. And then it's also going to say, let's see here. Let's see if I want to do traffic category. So this, the category is going to tell me um, like what, where they're coming from. Let me see. Let me put it a different way. Are they coming from social media? Are they coming from direct link, i.e. clicking my link, which would be if you're sending out automated funnels, if you're doing email marketing, if you're doing, you know, any kind of marketing where you're sending people the link directly in a message, they're clicking it. That's what this is right here. And then it's saying organic search and then referral, which is cool. And then Google. So this is where it's telling you, hey, this is what's building your site right now. Uh, this is where it's saying average sessions by the day. Again, you can see not a lot on the weekends, more in the middle of the week. It, again, that to me, that doesn't really matter as much. And then right here, it's going to tell you new versus returning visitors, as well as how many people are viewing on a mobile device versus a desktop. And no surprise, what I found is that about 70%, if not more, are going to be coming to your website via mobile. This is what it's telling you right here. That's not a surprise because we're always on our phone. This, you guys, is why it is so important that when you go into your site editor, for every single page on your website, make sure when you open up the editor that you have also clicked on the mobile editor so that your website isn't all wonky. Okay? When Sometimes when I do like site audits for people, this is one of the first things that I'll check. Because if people are coming to your site and your site isn't ready to go and it like the buttons and the, the stuff, people are going to bounce. When they bounce from your website, it's telling Google, hey, this site isn't relevant. You shouldn't show it to more people. So Google will stuff it down, which can also hurt whether or not you're going to be seen on Google. And it has nothing to do with your SEO and everything to do with your site optimization. Um, so that's another thing. So that's why I optimize the site. And it's why with numbers like this, five minutes, I know that I will be ranking on Google in no time. Now, one of the last things you can see down here is, okay, where is, are people coming to my site from? Are they United States? You can see Canada, Vietnam, the UK, which is awesome because the United States and Canada right now is really where I'm marketing to, especially with what I'm, you know, my site content. So that is the traffic overview. Now, if you go to the behavior overview, if you... First of all, there has to be a certain number of traffic that's come to your, I don't remember the exact amount, 
but there you have to have a certain number of traffic to unlock this feature. And once this is unlocked, what it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you what people are doing when they're on your site. It's kind of going to give you a little peek into what they're looking at when they're there. Like, oh, are they clicking on this page? Are they bouncing after this? Are they going here? This is what the behavior overview will break down. We'll do that in a separate video, but I just wanted to kind of give you that as um, it'll be another analytics tool. So there you have it. That is the information now that you know how to check it on your Wix analytics. Thank you so much. If you found this helpful, please make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified when the next video drops. And also remember to check the description because I have some freebies, I have goodies for you, I have a business vault, and a way that you can work with me if you are interested in helping me, you know, build your business with you or just getting coaching or accessing any of my courses, that info is down below. So thanks so much for checking out the channel here today. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.